A temple complex is a Kshetra, energy space. But what is the source of this energy? The Chaitanya. In this video, let's look into the powerhouse of a temple, the Garbhagraha, its components and a bit about the mechanism of how it functions. Namaskara. In our temple series, in this video, we are at the central core of the temple complex, the Garbhagraha. Garbha means the womb and Graha means the house. The sanctum of the temple is called as the womb. It is rightfully called so as that is the birthplace of the Chaitanya, the energy that spreads in the whole of the Kshetra and beyond. Although we did this journey of exploring the temple elements from the outermost Gopuram moving inwards and reaching the Garbhagraha, the construction and establishing process is the other way round, starting from the sanctum. The Garbhagraha with its central deity is the central focal point from which every other element of the temple is measured and established. The deity is established for a definitive characteristic by Pranapadishta. In the tradition, names are given to the deities as Shivalinga, Vishnumurti, Durga, Kali, Lakshmi, Subramanya, Ganesha and so on. But essentially, each name represents definitive characteristics of that particular deity. For example, if you say the Pratishta is done for Ganesha, you know there will be a deity of Ganapati inside, human body and elephant head. The qualities and attributes for which the Pratishta would be done will be removal of obstacles in the material and spiritual realms, bestowing knowledge, increasing receptivity and so on. For a person to receive these qualities onto one's health, there are processes called as Darshan, Sparsh, doing rituals and so on. Fundamentally, the central deity is the primary source of giving that is present inside the Kshetra. All other Parivara Devatas present in the temple complex function in complementing or protecting the central deity. An energy source is in a state of complete giving and emanation and it tends to be in a state of vulnerability. This vulnerability can also be the Kshetra's weakness and hence the whole structure and its components are designed to protect. Among many other protective mechanisms, the prominent one or the Dwarapalakas. Whether it is a Shiva temple, Vishnu temple or Devi temple, the Dwarapalaka is an essential feature. Dwaram stands for door or entrance and the Palakas for guardians. Within a temple, there can be different Dwarapalakas depending upon the place they stand, like in front of the main sanctum, or in front of Avarana. Each deity has their own specific Dwarapalaka. Depending on the nature of Pratishta and the Agama that is followed, the Dwarapalakas could vary for the same deity. For instance, for a Shiva temple, the Garbhagraha could have the combination of these two Dwarapalakas, Nandi and Mahakala. Here the Nandi mentioned is not the Nandishwara who is the Vahana. For other aspects of Shiva, we find different Dwarapalakas, Dindi, Mundi, Shringi and Bringi, Gopati and Ananta, Vijaya and Bringi, Vimalan and Subahu and so on. In Vishnu temples, the Dwarapalakas are Jaya and Vijaya and for various other aspects of Vishnu, different Dwarapalakas are present. Chanda, Prashanda, Chankotamangi, Chakrotamangi, Datru, Vidatru, Badra, Subhadra and so on. In Shakti temples, the gatekeepers are feminine Dwarapalikas. For example, Durga has Shankanidhi and Padmanidhi as her Dwarapalikas. In Ganesha temples, the Dwarapalakas are Mandodara and Gundodara. And for Subramanya, it is Sumuka and Sudeha. In Shiva temples, the Dwarapalakas can be usually seen with four hands holding a Pasha, the noose, and uh, Trishul, Damaru or Danda with their upper hands, and one of the lower hands holding a Gada, a blunt mace, and another showing Suchi or Tarjani Mudra, or sometimes Vishwamaya Hasta. Dwarabala Hurtan is a lot of the Padaninja Padana and Utan de Prahi, Yella, Koil Hilio, Idikapata, or Kavala Hill, Abdino on the Solala. Her ball, Nali Kaihil would either go. The rent Kaihil on the Wulla Garpa Kurgatri and Sami Riko, other on the Adair Purto. Sangu Sakara on the Madri Riko. The Dwarabala Hill and the Adair Mila. இதுல ஒரு கையில ஒரு ஒரு கொண்டாந்தடி கையில ஒன்னு வச்சிருக்கு இன்னொரு கை வந்து வெறுமனே இதாவது ஆச்சரியம் அபிசே விஸ்மயா சம வியப்பு இருக்குல அத ஆச்சரியம் உலகத்தை பார்த்தா ஆச்சரியப்படப்பட்டது 
ஒன்றுமே இல்லை அங்கப்பட்டது மாயை இங்கப்பட்டது காட்டப்பட்டது பெரும்பாலும் வந்து சூசிய கஷ்டமும் விஸ்மயாகும் இந்த ரெண்டு தான் துவரபாடு கட்டு இருக்கும் வேறு ஆயுதங்கள் காட்டல வெறும் அதிக வேலைப்பாடு இல்லை Dwarapalakas are usually seen in different standing positions and can sometimes be with ferocious and fearsome face, fang teeth and large eyes. The Shiva Agamas describes the Dwarapalakas as three-eyed with matted hair rolled up as a crown and wearing a sacred thread in the form of a serpent. The Suchi Mudra projected by one of the hands of Dwarapalakas directs towards the god inside the temple indicating go and pray to god with your devotion and the god will remove your hurdles and problems the tarjani mudra indicates that the devotee should be careful and not make any mistakes while entering god's abode or in other words they are saying that one needs to be entering consciously as the main activity of the dwarapalakas is to protect the energy of the temple even the priests who open the entrances of the temple also seek the permission of the dwarapalakas in their mind and heart before opening the gates In most of the temples almost all the offerings done to the chief deity will also be offered to the dwarapalakas the shape of the garbhagraha is usually square called kuta but there are rectangular in some shakti temples called shala curved like the ayhole durga temple sanctum called the gajaprishta circular called vritta or octagonal called as astasra this shape will be evident when we go around the garbhagraha when we do pradakshina the walking around in clockwise direction the space above the garbhagraha is covered by a structure called as vimana this is like the shikara or gopuram structures the word vimana comes from the words vishesha anumana meaning special or detailed measurements vimana also means a transportation medium which takes people from one place to another the stapatis i interacted with explained how the measurements are very crucial when it comes to designing the vimana The outside of the vimana is a very complex structure with many levels and niches. In the North Indian Nagara style there are three commonly found styles of vimana. There they are referred to as shikaras. Reka prasada, pamsana and vallabhi types. In the South Indian style the vimana is divided into different layers starting from the bottom to the top. Adhisthana, pada, prastara, ara, tala, griva, shikara and kalasa. The empty conical space in the inside of the vimana is said to be an astral projection of the central deity leading to the kalasa and further into the cosmic. This space is also called as the Brahma Yandra or Brahma Randra which is the same terminology to denote the spinal cord leading to the brain and eventually to the pole at the top of the cranium in the skull. Some recent references suggest this could be the physical location of the Sahasra chakra in the human body. and in the temple complex replica of the vastu purusha mandala in the shiva temple while the physical stone form of linga is the stula roopa the gross form the sukshma roopa the subtle form is said to be the empty cylindrical space created by the vimana hence utmost care is taken when it comes to constructing the vimana stapati the architect of the temple was mentioning how the measurements starts from parama anu which is subatomic anu atomic hair breadth angula digit of a finger vitasti 12 angulas danda and then hasti and so on these measurements have been in use since the harappan times and been an integral part of the arthashastra i was told by the stapati that the precision of the making of the vimana is crucial for the consecration process to happen successfully the pratishta process is what changes a structural complex of stone into an energy reverberating abode of the gods more about how this transformation during pratishta happens in my next video